Now, this is the genealogy of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives from the daughters of Canaan, Ada, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, Aholabah, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zibion, the Hivite, and Basimath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nabajoth. Now, Ada bore Eliphaz to Esau, and Basimath bore Ruel, and Ahola bore Jewish, Ja'alam, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau, who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Then Esau took his wives, his sons, his daughters, and all the persons of his household, his cattle, and all his animals, and all his goods, which he had gained in the land of Canaan, and went to a country away from the presence of his brother Jacob. For their possessions were too great for them to dwell together, and the land where they were strangers could not support them because of their livestock. So Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. My name's Arthur. Thank you for joining me as we turn to Genesis chapter 36. This whole chapter focuses on Esau. Some Jewish friends have asked the question, why does the Bible spend so much time talking about Esau when the descendants of Esau would cause so much trouble to the Israelites? Well, the Jewish people read through the books of Moses every year, at least the religious few do, and they are reminded continually that their Arab neighbours are descendants of Abraham who worship the same God. The name Eliphaz is used here in relation to Esau's descendant. Another Eliphaz was a godly person who debated with Job in the story of Job. And later in this chapter we'll find there was a king called Jobab. Was this king actually Job? And then we have Basimath bore Ruel. And Moses went and spent time with the priest of Midian called Ruel. At this stage all the descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob were godly and walking with God. It's unfortunate that they have not maintained that status, although many of them today would claim that they are. In reading these names, and there's many names in this chapter, we don't really know how they all fit together, except to say that God blessed these people as individuals, and they had the opportunity and knowledge of God. And it's only when we walk with God that our children have the same opportunity. If we turn away from God, then our children have less opportunity to walk with God. Let's continue our reading. This is the genealogy of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. These were the names of Esau's sons. Aliphaz, the son of Adar, the wife of Esau. And Ruel, the son of Basimath, the wife of Esau. The sons of Aliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam and Kenaz. Now Timnah was the concubine of Aliphaz, Esau's son, and she bore Amalek to Aliphaz. These were the sons of Adar, Esau's wife. These were the sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah and Mizhar. These were the sons of Basimath, Esau's wife. These were the sons of Aholamath, Esau's wife, the daughter of Anna, the wife of Zibion, and she bore to Esau Jewish, Jalam, and Korah. These were the chiefs of the sons of Esau. The sons of Aliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, were Chief Timan, Chief Omar, Chief Zepho, Chief Kenaz, Chief Korah, Chief Gatam, and Chief Amalek. These were the chiefs of Aliphaz in the land of Edom. They were the sons of Adar. These were the sons of Ruel, Esau's son, Chief Nahath, Chief Zerah, Chief Shammah, Chief Zimizah. These were the chiefs of Ruel in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Basimath, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Aholabath, Esau's wife, Chief Jewash, Chief Jalem, and Chief Korah. These were the chiefs who descended from Aholamath, Esau's wife, the daughter of Anna. These were the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these were their chiefs. These were the sons of Seir, the Horite, who inhabited the land, Lotan, Shoban, Zibion, and Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishan. These were the chiefs of the Horites, the sons of Seir, in the land of Edom. And the sons of Lotan were Hori and Heman. Lotan's sister was Timnah. 
These were the sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Zepha, and Onan. These were the sons of Zibion, both Ajar and Anar. This was the Anar who found the water in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father Zibion. These were the children of Anar, Dishon and Holobar, the daughter of Anar. These were the sons of Dishon, Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran, and Cheran. And these were the sons of Ezer, Bilhain, Zavan, and Achan. These were the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Urim. These were the chiefs of the Horites, Chief Lotan, Chief Shobel, Chief Zibion, Chief Anna, Chief Dishon, Chief Ezer, and Chief Dishan. These were the chiefs of the Horites, according to their chiefs in the land of Seir. Now, these were the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela, the son of Behor, reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Dinabar. And when Bela died, Jobab, the son of Zerah of Bosra, reigned in his place. When Jobab died, Husham of the land of the Temanites reigned in his place. And when Husham died, Hadad, the son of Bedad, who attacked Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his place. And the name of his city was Avith. When Hadad died, Samlah of Masrika reigned in his place. And when Shamlah died, Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his place. When Saul died, Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, reigned in his place. And when Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, died, Hadar reigned in his place. And the name of his city was Pal. His wife's name was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matreb, the daughter of Mezahab. And these were the names of the chiefs of Edom, according to their families, and their places by their names. Chief Timnah, Chief Alvar, Chief Jehtheth, Chief Aholimah, Chief Elah, Chief Pinon, Chief Kenez, Chief Timan, Chief Mibzar, Chief Magdiel, and Chief Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom, according to their dwelling places in the land of their possession. Esau was the father of the Edomites. And may the Lord bless these words to us. Well, without taking a lot of time and drawing it all out, it's a little bit confusing when read straight through. But there are several names that stand out to us. As we've mentioned, the name Ruel, and that was the family name of Moses' father-in-law. These people in these days followed the ways of God, as taught by Abraham, their grandfather. Esau had been taught of God, and Basimath, who was the daughter of Ishmael, Ruel's mother, had been brought up with the knowledge of God. As I mentioned before, some of these names appear in the story of Job. And here we have a king, Jobab, the son of Zerah of Bozrah. Job was indeed a king. Jobab, the extension Ab, means father. So Jobab is father Job. So it's possible that Jobab is the Job of the book of Job. We don't have much detail of any of these people, but one person is selected out. Anna, who found the water in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father Zibion. To find water in the wilderness was something of which great honour attached because it opened up a whole new area of land. When you had water, then you could graze the surrounding countryside. And so Anna is honoured as one who found water in the wilderness. These were the relatives of Israel. Later there would be much strife between them. But at this stage we find that they are supportive. For Esau moved down to the territory of Seir because there was not enough room for him and Jacob or Israel in the land of Canaan. And so there was cooperation between them. So the Lord God Almighty blessed Esau but the promise of the land went to Jacob, also known as Israel. 